Cappies, this is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do your general collective energy read for Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every uh, Capricornian, but it will for some. Time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, as well as divine counterparts. Family, anytime you were guided to my channel, it was time for you to receive a message. Okay? Make sure. And let me hit some sage here right quick, fam. So we can make sure that the reading is protected and blessed, as always. Most of the time I do this before you guys ever get a chance to see, but I'm a little behind. So forgive me. Let's start here. Okay. Oh, we had a card that drop. Already? Yeah. Some of you are not going to accept the offer back from somebody, possibly, to some of you. A lot of you could be experiencing some kind of loss, some type of lack. If this is not um, a physical loss or a lack of a home or a job or finances, if this could be a lack-minded mentality right now, messages for Capricorn, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all are experiencing some financial instability here. That's not you, Capricorn. Y'all love stability. Y'all are the fathers of the zodiac, male or female. What is the messages for my Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium, the Knight of Swords? You could have been fighting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What messages do you have? Or you could have taken some level of strategic action. To go forwards and help balance the situation but there's an ending first card out is the world some of you definitely could be seeing 10 10 10 10 or 1 1 1 and this is regarding a partnership a commitment something that you could have you could have been married to this person or you could have been living together like common law some of you could definitely be seeing 1 1 1 2 2 2 what else holy spirit yeah there's a um an ending where something may have ended for you and it resulted in financial loss um, mind body and spirit you could be experiencing a hardship in a relationship a commitment union the four of wands aries leo sagittarius capricorn taurus virgo it doesn't have to be but it can be what else can you tell me holy spirit for my capricorns please and thank you Ooh, okay okay let's see what we got yeah ten of swords so you equally feel like you're in pain you've been left out in the cold financially emotionally somebody here may have taken a financial hit and a loss yeah four of pentacles somebody here could have been holding back or holding on to somebody for stability and finances but somebody betrayed the other jesus and here you are at the bottom of the deck that's the queen of pentacles king of pentacles Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Either you betrayed a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or any of the signs that I call, but it's only fire. It's a, I'm sorry. Um, somebody here could be pissed off and angry, or they could have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart. But all I have here is earth and air. So somebody here, um, this relationship hit the bricks, and somebody told somebody you can hit the bricks. Woo wee. Wow. A lot of you are heavily focused on your finances to gain to regain your stability at this present time wow capricorns that's not like y'all somebody here has to release some outdated thinking where they keep replaying these events over and over this was a harsh ending somebody here was heavily stuck in their mind and somebody here is definitely like mm, it's like this air just blew like blew somebody's house down holy spirit tell me about the world card why is the world card here for capricorns what did they end and if you didn't do this 
your person did this to you. You could be dealing with somebody that has air and earth in their chart. Yeah, this relationship ended to evolve to the next phase to heal the inner child for growth. So there was an ending here because you guys were mirroring each other at this present time. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Five of Pentacles for Capricorns. Why is it here? Why are they in a financial hardship, Spirit, mind, body, and soul? Jeez, whiz. I can feel y'all's energy in this. It's painful. I'm sorry, Cappies. Yeah, you have the key to somebody's heart and they have the key to yours. Why is this financial hardship here? Or somebody feeling left out in the cold? For Capricorn here, Holy Spirit. Ooh, somebody does not want to talk about this. Wow. Yeah, somebody here got left out in the cold where love was concerned, but Spirit is saying to have faith, Cappies. Love is coming your way. Have faith. You have a surprise meeting or an invitation. You could be hesitant about this, but you were dealing with someone that has an addiction. Um, you both could have shared the addiction, or if this isn't you, then this is your person. Um, but it's falling on your energy, Capricorn. Um, you could have been dealing with another earth sign for some of you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all both could have all of this in your chart. But somebody here was very codependent. It, there was a lot of obsessions here. And there was a lot of possessions controlling. Somebody here tried to restrain and control the other. And it created a block. So someone's still very angry. They're not dealing with the hurt. They're not talking to people. They're avoiding conversations. Communications directly in person. Somebody here has established harsh boundaries. You're still angry Capricorns. I can feel your energy. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah, somebody's judgment was harsh. Yeah, and somebody moved with on, moved, moved forward and didn't leave you with any closure issues here. Um, you could have received what you needed here in order to move forward with this ending. But this person is actually stalking. They're spying. Um, this person here likes to gaslight um, to mess up your perception of how you see things. This person is focusing out instead of going within to gain some inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance like the like Virgo. So they could have some Virgo in their chart or their mother could be a Virgo. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Four of Pentacles for Capricorns. I'm hearing sins of the mother for someone here. Yes, some of you were dealing with someone and it was a karmic relationship. This relationship was not meant to last to last long it was meant to be fleeting to uh, trigger you um, to stir up the turmoil that was inside of you and this created resentment and it allowed you to learn a lesson here to help let go of some things that were traumatizing you in order for you to have self-love and self-care holy spirit tell me about the financial security why they were clinging so hard to you or you were clinging so hard to them capricorns but I've never known Capricorns to be that way unless they're absolutely without. Somebody here could have been holding somebody back um, from meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, um, planning and setting a date. So somebody could have been holding on to you that is a narcissist. You got somebody that's spying on you, um, Capricorn. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. So this person didn't want you to date other people and they could have been holding on to you. And this also could have messed up your finances as well for some of you. If this resonates. Yeah, if you're in a karmic relationship, um, a lot of times it will drain your finances. It will cause you to have losses, finances, homes, your cars, various different things. It's all to make you let go so you can start going within and doing some healing work. It's like some of you guys went through a, an awakening here. Um, we have the dragonfly at the bottom of the deck. You needed to be lighthearted about finding out. Um, things are coming to a light for you to adapt, change, and heal yourself. If this isn't you, then this is both of you, but I feel like this is strongly both of you. Holy Spirit, tell me about why the Seven of Swords is here for Capricorn, please. Yeah, somebody here 
was uh, gaslighting you, hoovering you, offering you marriage, but there was um, somebody here needed to heal their heart from heartbreak and free themselves from a toxic addiction. You were dealing with a narcissist or somebody that has narcissistic traits, Capricorn. Um, you may even have some of these narcissistic traits. You could have been dealing with somebody that betrayed you because there was a marriage already here in place. Some of you, you got an epiphany that somebody was already in a marriage or um, had offered marriage to somebody else and this was the ultimate betrayal here. There was a, a tower moment here in this situation. Woo, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Aries, Scorpionic energy for that tower. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Wow. Somebody here was a promising you marriage and they lied and deceived you or either you did this to them. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, there it is. Empath, snake, paradigm. Somebody here was dealing with a narcissist. The other is an empath. Somebody was being charmed and used and you enabled it. You needed to establish boundaries between you and this narcissist. For the Queen of Pentacles, you are ascending. Beautiful energy. Um, you got this tower. The tower wasn't against you. It was for you. So a lot of you went through a tower and you're now manifesting new beginnings here. Holy Spirit, tell me about the world and the butterfly. Somebody wants to come in and offer you some love, but this person could be a little flighty and unstable. Um, they could be inconsistent. You could be dealing with a water sign. But there was an ending to heartbreak so you could heal from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a lot of you, not all of you. Somebody here that was in the Five of Pentacles, this was some level of karma. This was some level of judgment here. Somebody here was very guarded and very defensive. Somebody was standing their ground in a situation here where somebody wanted um, something to end in order for your ships to come in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong energy here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the boat. So this ultimately messed with your stability here, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, you had a soulmate, a water sign possibly. Um, doesn't have to. They had a lot of secrets. They betrayed you. They could have betrayed you for a water sign. Somebody was hiding that they were having sex. Somebody could have been hiding that they have an STD. And this caused somebody here to walk away. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer. What is the other secret? Yes. Woo! Somebody was playing with black magic. Wow. To end something. You could have been dealing with somebody or your person could have been dealing with somebody here that practices black magic. Mm -mm -mm. Aries, Gemini, Virgo energy, Pisces, Cancer. Oh my God, for an ending. Somebody here could have been trying to literally kill somebody. Jesus, and this was a definite fated event. This was a karmic lesson to learn about one-sided situations. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the date. Jesus. Yeah, some of you are holding back from dating a narcissistic Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're a whole headache and a burden. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Well, we know who's the empath and who's the narcissist. Yeah, this person could have lied about being in another commitment or offering you commitment. They betrayed you in a marriage, a commitment, a long-term relationship. Some of you, this is same-sex relationships. This person now is ashamed and embarrassed. They have a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities. This person could also be sitting in jail. For some of you, this person is going through the dark night of the soul. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And for the Queen of Pentacles, you're ascending in love and relationships. You're showing up as the divine masculine or either there's a divine masculine, male or female, headed towards you. Somebody you could have rejected in the past or feared that's going to reject you. It could be any sign. Aries, Taurus, energy. This has been your reading, um, Sag oh, Capricorns. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. And if this is not a divine counterpart for you, you're taking control of your life and you're becoming the boss. Beautiful energy. Um, anyone is interested? Um, you can find me here at my channel, Ascended Twin, 144K. If you would like to, you can go over to the About section. Donations are always welcomed and appreciated. They're used for materials to help um, for growth of the channel and those who come towards it. 
as well as um, any information that might assist them on their growth and healing journey. Family, if you would like to donate, thank you in advance. Donations are always welcomed and appreciated. And there are several options to do so. You can also donate from my Amazon wish list. And if you would like to book a reading, feel free to do so at Twin Flames with a Z, 144 <clears throat> at gmail.com. There I will send you a listing of my time and my booking prices. And we will set a date from there. Take care. I love you guys. Peace.